This is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus X501A laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus X501A laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to disconnect all sources of power and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over and there's two levers on the back and they're right above the battery itself. So we slide the levers inward and we slide the battery out like this. So slide the levers inward, this one locks, this one doesn't lock and take the battery out. And while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop computer because the print is very small. Under the battery, there's a label and it'll say X501A. And also there's a small label here and that'll say X501A here. Right there. They made it very, very small. Okay, so we flip the laptop over. And before we start taking it apart, we're going to go over the tools we're going to need for this job. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a smaller PH00 electronics screwdriver for smaller screws. A two millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's to pry things apart and manipulate cables. Also a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and to manipulate cables. And a exacto knife or a hobby knife and that's to remove the plastic screw covers and remove the adhesive tape on the back of the screen. Okay, so let's get started. In order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom. They're down here, here, and here, and they're hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to take our X-Acto knife and lift up the screw covers and put them beside the screw opening so we don't lose them. One and two. Once we do that, we take our PH1 electronics screwdriver and remove the two screws on the bottom. So we're going to need our tweezers to remove this one. There's one and two. And like so. Once we do that, we can snap the screen bezel off. In order to do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and outward and listen for snapping sounds. And once you hear snapping sounds, that means it's a good sign. That means the screen is coming off. So we work our way around the screen, like so. Same thing on the bottom, like so. And then we make sure that we loosen up, we make sure that we loosen up the hinge covers on the back of the screen. And what we do over here is use our X-Acto knife to free up the opening for the hinge covers. Actually, I made a mistake. The hinge covers, the seam is right there for the hinge covers, there and there. And what we're going to do for that is use our flathead screwdriver to lift up the hinge covers, work them off like so. What I did here is kind of lift up the hinge covers here. And we're going to do the same thing here. And then that should be enough to allow us to remove the screen bezel. And the screen bezel comes off. 
So we had to work the screen bells a little bit, but there's nothing really that makes it stuck there. So kind of wiggle and manipulate it until it comes out. Okay. So once we remove the screen bezel, we take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, there's uh, it's a slim screen and it's mounted by some metal mounting tabs on the top and on the bottom. So we have to remove the screws from the metal mounting tab tabs on the top and on the bottom. And what we're going to do is there's some adhesive tape that's covering up part of the screws and we remove that adhesive tape here and here like so okay your laptop may be different but for some reason for this laptop there's no screws here and here I'm not sure if it was a manufacturing defect that was intended to be that way but if, if there were screws here and here you would need to remove those two where my fingers are but all we have to do for um, this laptop is remove the two screws at the top. There's one here and one here. So we take our pH one screwdriver and while leaning the screen back a little bit, we remove the two screws. There's one and let's use the left hand so you can see. There's one, and then there's two. And we put those two screws on the side. Once we do that, we can gently start tilting the screen forward. Make sure it's not getting caught anything, and lay the screen down. Uh, for this type of screen, there's only one connector on the bottom here, and it's behind some adhesive tape. So the next order of business is to use the exact knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape and gently lift it up without damaging the connection. Like so. Once we do that, we can pull the connector out. So what I do is to put both my fingertips on the back of the connector and pull backward to remove the connector like so and the connector is out and the screen is free. Before we go any further I'm going to reconnect this connector to make sure that it's done properly. When you reconnect it you slide it back in. I'll get a close-up and when you slide it back in you'll feel but not hear two clicking sounds. That means it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up of the connector. Now pause the camera right there the connection should look like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. All right, so we pull the connector out again and we take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED slim screen. It's a fairly common screen, so it should not be a problem finding it. Now let's look at the part number that you're looking for. The part number that you need is B156XW04. B156XW04. Now when you do get your new screen in, most likely it will not be the same part number, but it should look exactly the same. The mounting tabs should be in the same places and the connector should be in the same place and the size should be the same. Okay, now we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in this video. We ship that for free with the screen. We also have fast shipping. We have uh, warehouses on the East Coast and the West Coast so even when you order ground shipping you'll get your screen in two to three days or less. And we also have a free email technical support. So if you have any problems installing the screen, send us email and we'll walk you through it. And finally, we have a two year warranty. So, and for international customers, we can ship to most countries around the world. So I uh, just follow the regular checkout procedure and then select your country. In order to 
To order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model, which will guide you to the right screen to buy online, and then you can just purchase it. Okay, uh, once you do get your screen in, the procedure to put everything together is very simple. Reconnect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen in the back of the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, and if there's two screws in on the bottom, put those in too. Put the screen bezel back on. Snap it back into place. Put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers, and you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.